Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we will talk about absence seizures. These are brief, generalized seizures characterized by a sudden impairment of consciousness in children aged 4 to 10. Events can occur infrequently or up to 100 times a day without warning. During absence seizure, a person may exhibit a vacant stare, remain motionless, and seem unaware of their surroundings. They may also experience subtle movements such as blinking, lip smacking, or slight jerking of the limbs. The episodes are typically brief, lasting a few seconds to half a minute. They may be accompanied by simple automatisms such as eyelid fluttering, lip smacking, as I said, but not more complex motor events. Patients generally are unaware that a seizure has occurred and do not remember what happened during it. They can be triggered various factors, including fatigue, stress, flashing lights, hyperventilation, and certain medications. Identifying and avoiding these triggers can help reduce the frequency of seizures. Many children with absence seizures have a personal history of febrile seizures and or a family history of seizure disorder. The events are often first noticed by teachers and are frequently mistaken for ADHD or normal childhood stirring spells. ADHD is common in children with absence seizures or with other forms of epilepsy. And the first line treatment we are using is etosuximide. They usually have a good prognosis. Many children outgrow them by adolescents and most individuals with absence seizures can achieve seizure control with appropriate treatment. However, regular monitoring and follow-up with a healthcare provider or neurologist are important to ensure effective management. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our Essential Tramor video and see you on the next one.